What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another StarCraft Brood War Remastered cast. We've got Motive spawning in the top right hand corner, Killer in the top left. And I got this conversation translated this time between Killer and Motive. They both used to be a part of Team JSA. Uh, I think for the Col Collegiate League. And they're just discussing how they'd like to uh, meet each other in the finals of an upcoming tournament and how they should uh, grab some lunch together or dinner together after so Pretty cool. These two are a couple of friends here meeting up on the ladder And playing here on retro looks like killer is gonna open with a overpool Whereas we've got motive here starting out with the gateway first you can see killer really slowing down his APM Typing quite a bit. I think we'll see that jump up here pretty soon though as he gets into his build I'm Gonna start to take things seriously. Look at that 440 APM from motive We most recently saw motive in his two series against flash Where he at first dominated and then had a very hard time later on uh, as flash grew throughout the last month But he is a very strong protoss player an up-and-coming Protoss that, you know, might be someone who contends for that ASL top spot in the future. Is not quite there yet, but he's well on his way. Killer has been in the ASL a few times as well. Um, again, not a player who's right at the tippy top, but he is one of the most aggressive Zerg players that we have. And that's... That says something, right? We've got Soma, we've got so many really strong, aggressive, like action, very strong, aggressive Zerg player. But Killer, he is like another level. This guy just goes. He has that killer instinct. And oftentimes he's going to be taking games off of Protoss and Terran players alike very early on with some quick strategies. Some down and dirty builds. So let's see what he brings out here today. Two Zealots already on the field here for Motive. He's going to send one across the map. And he's going to send one back home. He's seen about six Lings pop for Killer. So he knows that he has to keep some things back at home. Trying to run by here. Ooh, great block. Although not as good on the second Ling that will slip by here into the main. But only one Ling in the main. Is Motive going to be able to hang on in the back with 350 APM? He should be able to deal with all this. Should not be a problem. And he brought his second Zealot back home. His third Zealot is about to pop. Looking for that hatchery. Looks like he forced the hatchery over here. To be placed just off center. Must have been a pro blocking that location. The Ling getting in is a little bit more important. So that's why I'm focusing on that. We've got the pro. But with 2 HP being bullied away right now. And these six Lings out on the map. Clearing out that... Scouting probe very important stuff Now it's up to motive to just sit back at home and be really careful Make sure that no more links slip in otherwise. He's gonna be in a lot of trouble this circling with zero kills so far Still gonna be an annoyance here one probe sent out to just chase that that is one way to deal with this as a Protoss player You just allowed the shields to be shaved off and then you send out another probe to start to deal more damage to that ling Gonna try and surround that. Not able to get it just yet. We have Link Speed on the way, plus the layer. So it's looking like a pretty normal build here out of Killers thus far. Let's see if he mixes it up into a more wacky uh, play style here going forward, though. Does finally get rid of that one Link. Now can spend full concentration on his wall and figuring out what's going on on killer side of the map you can see very far a mining distance here from the patches at the third base he'll want to throw down a fourth hatch really really quickly does have the spire on the way and back at home we just started our stargate so this is looking like a very well-timed spire so far five zealots going to start to move out just pushing everything back but there's no cannon at home just yet Want to have probably one to two cannons, maybe two cannons here to stop Ling run by. One cannon dies just a little bit too fast to a group of Lings running past, so he may even wait for a second cannon. 
has plus one on the way starts his citadel everything looking normal for this protoss player does add his fourth hatchery here killer gonna get that closer hatchery so that the mining is a little bit more efficient he is losing out on quite a bit because of the placement of that early hatchery but you know only four drones here mining right now and eventually that's going to come online and fix that problem for him we'll see if motive can eke out an advantage because of that early misplacement now we do have one zealot slipping out looks like it slipped down through the south part of the natural opening and he's gotten all the way down to the bottom left he may even be able to walk right in to this third base and start to disrupt the drones killer's not aware of this he doesn't have any links back at home he's making some scourge a lot of drones and plus one armor for his mutilus flock this zealot coming in is going to be a pain in the butt there's already been a bunch of lost mining time here for killer so far so this really does hurt right now having to run his drones away eventually he will run down that zealot and pick it off but in the meanwhile zealots are moving across the map here from motive he's gonna send these maybe right into the natural another kill there on another ling he was having a hard time clearing this out the zealots are already over at his natural nice sunken placement there with the lings to back it up he may be able to surround and kill this He's got a bunch more links coming. There's only one more Zealot. If he traps it in this corner, he's got to get on top of the ramp. Okay, looks like the Zealots will be able to breach the ramp. And so not all the Zealots are going to die. We can fight from the top of the ramp and take a very good trade here as motive. So Killer does have to back off. A little bit of a scary moment there, though, for the Zealots as they were trying to retreat. If you get all your Zealots caught in a long line right here and the links manage to block and surround you can lose everything and that really slows down your follow-up push we've got three mutas five mutas now some more drones on the way here comes the zealots on the map but the scourge are going to spot them immediately just start to follow them around the mutas will pick off this one zealot that's been broken off to go harass and it's a real fear right now motive he could be losing his main base if he doesn't have enough cannons he's got one cannon so far but that's not good enough it's a full if it's a full ogre zerg play he's gonna find himself in a lot of trouble we've got quite a bit of idle larva just kind of sitting around right now killer maybe slipping slightly on his macro but he's doing a good job of controlling the protoss so far keeping him back We've got six Corsairs now. So moving out is a little bit more viable. Once this plus one is done with seven Corsairs, I think we're going to see a pressure play here from Motive. And keeping those Zealots alive is now going to come in really handy as he starts to go out on the map. Seven Corsairs. What have we got? Six Zealots. A few more are going to pop out here in a moment. Can he make some waves with this attack? He has Storm on the way. He's got some Templar coming out now. Here comes the Scourge and Mutas. Can he take a good fight with this? This is a very good amount. Seven Corsairs with plus one. A really strong amount of, of Corsairs. But if the Mutas engage at the same time as the Scourge, then the Corsairs will inevitably target the Mutas. And the Scourge will likely be able to connect, killing off a lot of those and making this attack much, much less worth it, much, much less deadly. So he wants to take this fight where he can right click on some Scourge and start to pick them off before they really get the engagement going. He does some more damage to the Mutas here. That's some pretty good stuff. Forcing those back. He lost his probe though, not able to get that third base established just yet. Lurker aspect on the way. We've got Hydralis missile attacks coming up as well. Hatchery spawning down in the bottom left and a big round of drones being sent down there immediately going to saturate that base. Killer on 52 drones with a fourth base already coming up. I love his position right now, but he's got no hive 
He's going to start to set up some sunken colonies here. He knows there's going to be a push coming soon. As the Dragoons start to increment out here. We've gone up to eight gateways for Motive. He's trying to take his third base, but he's having a bit of a hard time with it. Scourge are going to come up here, and a lot of them are going to connect. Poor Probe. Likely to get picked off right now. Looks like it does survive for the moment. Dragoons need to be firing at those Scourge. And Muta's trying to pick them off from the ground. The Corsairs can run back and forth and just use them as point defense. But he's having a hard time moving his army right now. Motive is going to get down here onto the high ground. He's going to take his third base at about 11 minutes. This is pretty late. As you can see, the main base is getting quite close to running out of minerals. So by the time he gets this online, we're almost going to be back on two base mining once again. Which is not really a big problem for a Protoss player, but we do need to be mindful of the number of bases that we're on and this natural mining out quite quickly afterwards. Very important to get not only a third base online, but a fourth base online as well if we want to take this into a hyper late game situation. Killer so far has set up a beautiful uh, defense here, defensive position at his natural Adding on a lot of Sunkens and Spores to this area with the Lurkers to make it really invulnerable to attack. Here on the high ground, another Spore, a couple Sunkens. We've got Lurkers here as well. Mutas have made their way over to the bottom left. We've got Lurker up there too. Do we have Hive yet? No, we do not. I'm really worried about that Hive for Killer because if he doesn't have Hive, he will not be able to utilize Nidus to get down here to the bottom left hand corner to protect this base and maybe motive can fly in with a huge round of army like bring all his army together and break bottom left before killer really gets the defenses online that he needs he's only got three lurkers four lurkers up here on the high ground that's not totally enough to deal with a full protoss army but you know what motive left a lot of his army over here on this high ground to defend the fourth base as it's coming up. So maybe he actually can't break this. Let's see what happens. A lot of this is coming down. I'm gonna try and move up here now. No Nidus Canal just yet. Some more Zealots and Dragoons are coming down. Some great storms have been cast. We're gonna bring up the Corsairs now. Try to clear out some of these Mutas as well. There's a big force. Oh, Zealots are going to come running in here. That's not very good. I don't know where those are going. A big force of Lurker Ling Hydra coming down from the north. Going to try and help this base down in the bottom left get established. But I don't know about this. Okay, he's running in. He's actually getting pretty good trades here. We do have some more storms coming online in just a moment. There's a good storm right there. Trying to jump on top of this with the Lings. Going pretty poorly for Killer so far. If we can get another Observer. Okay, there's the Observer right there. He should be able to bring that to bear. Lurker's over here, cutting off some reinforcements. And more. Oh, there's the Nidus Canal finally. So we do have the Hive done. And we've got Crackling on the way. The triple upgrade is coming. How are we looking? We've got one armor. One attack. Two attack on the Hydras though. Lurkers running up here. They're just going to run straight into cannon fire. And this is definitely going to get cleaned up very nice and easy. This is a big win for Motive. Cleaning up four uh, Lurkers basically for free. Can't ask for much more than that. Now, oh my god, the probes. Are you kidding me? What is happening right now? A huge line of probes just get wiped out. Too bad he wasn't target firing there. He could have killed every probe as it was coming across, but he doesn't really get too much. I guess Killer kind of forgetting about that as he's pushing out to take his, what's his fifth base now in the bottom left-hand corner. He's managed to control the high ground here in bottom right, which is amazing. We we'll want to be able to see exactly when this base starts to get taken and prevent this base from getting taken for as long as possible. Some links making their way up there, a bit of sacrifice, sacrificial links. Trying to break up onto that high ground. It's unlikely that it'll be able to beat this base or this base. Most likely, Killer will be fighting for bottom right, trying to control that area and prevent Motive from taking over that position. 
Yeah, it's not looking very breakable anywhere right now for Killer Motive. Looking to try and break into six o'clock, which is a good move. Taking over six o'clock would be nice. A drone gonna try and make its way down here. That's gonna get killed off, unfortunately for Killer. They won't be able to take the bottom right hand corner either. Lurker is gonna get killed over here. Can Killer bring his entire army together? He has such a massive army, you know, he's at 172 supply. Bringing it all together and utilizing it efficiently against a Protoss army with a ton of storms. Archons and splash damage just wreck those big groups of units. Now coming forward here, bringing out some lurkers, bringing the lurkers down from the high ground to just try to finish off these Photon cannons. Doing very well with that. But the Dragoon and Observers will make their way down here. Prevent this base at bottom right from going down. And now Killer's going to make a bold move towards the position between Motive's natural and his fourth base. This is a very nice move from Killer. Trying to force him to fight his way through Lurker Contain, right? Fight his way through Burrowed Lurkers. It's a great way to take good trades against the Protoss player. Setting up here in front of the rally point as well. It makes things really tough for the Protoss. Big army battling it out here in the middle. That's a lot of lurkers on the left-hand side, but they don't have a lot of cover. If he brings the observers forward with some storms and dragoons, he should be able to clear that. And that would be a big win right now for Motive to remove all of those Lurkers, but he's more, th I think, thinking about this area. He wants to find a way to clear this efficiently. If he kills off all the Overlords and brings out DTs, he should be able to do it. He's gonna get most of the Overlords, but he hasn't gotten them all, and it looks like he's just barely gonna lose all of his courses before he kills the Overlords, and now the DTs aren't gonna do nearly as well. DTs and Zealots helping out, clearing off some of these units. The space down here is looking strong. Six o'clock going to be retaken now by Killer. Now, what's the plan? What's the follow-up? We've got drop here from Killer. He does need to make some moves now. With Motive holding the bottom right-hand corner. He will eventually dry up. Killer will. If Motive just plays a defensive game from here, starts to add on... Uh, more robotics facilities and goes into a big group of Reavers. It's going to be very hard to handle. Now, triple snipe there on some of these Templar. And a Templar walking out right here. That's not good for Motive. Losing some Templar for free. Never a good feeling. He's starting to switch it up, I think, into Reaver now. As he adds on a robotics facility down here. Starts his Gravitic Drive upgrade and... A shuttle that means that he does in fact have reavers robotic support bay is done so he's gonna start to fill out this army with pure defense taking over not only 12 o'clock but also this bottom right gives him more than or not more than half but exactly half of the map pushing out here towards the middle that's so many lings coming in We've got a ton of units coming up, and there's the first plague of the game. Some plagues getting thrown down by these three defilers. Really important that he keeps these alive. We want to continue to get value out of those over time. Coming forward here, going to put down one last plague on those dragoons. And the hydras almost clearing out everything, but the archons still remain. Let's see how many kills on each of these: 14, 11, 11, and 17 kills. Being absolutely worth the cost of those two Templars. Now, is he going to go for a big drop into the main base? I think that would be a great move from Killer. Already uh, preparing for that, though, is Motive. Adding on a bunch of cannons here in the main base. It's so wide open. A big drop going this direction would be a real problem for Motive to deal with. You can clear out all of this tech and a whole bunch of those uh, gateways. It's going to be amazing for your chances in this game as the Zerg player. Now coming forward, 
Can he get a plague on these two Reavers? That is super important. Not quite able to get it just here. Going for another plague now. Misses the Reavers and the shuttle. There's the big plague on the Reaver. Shuttle has not been plagued just yet. So it does still have quite a bit of health to work with here and he's gonna pick those reavers up move them into a new position a lot of lurker hydra moving up here is this gonna be for that drop or is he gonna try and assault 12 Ooh, assaulting 12 seems like a fool's errand look at the storm on the ramp absolutely brutal two storms go down and all the lings and hydras die we also have reaver up here to just clear that out so i doubt that we're gonna see uh, killer breakthrough here. He did manage to get the plague on top of these reavers and that's really the first step To breaking any base like this. You have to get the plague on those reavers allow it some time. Oh That's the big money plague there Great job by killer to pick uh, To get those plagues off on those all-important reavers and the shuttle He's gonna start to push forward here targeting down the reavers as quickly as he can another great plague Oh my goodness. The plagues are so so good and killer tried to take the middle of the map. It looks like he won't be able to hold it for now, but I may have spoke too soon. Here comes another round of units. He's going to dive on top of this reaver. Oh, man. That is brutal. So many lings losing their lives trying to push through this area. Coming up from both sides now. Bunch of hydras moving northward, actually. Is he going to come and try to kill this? Or what is he, what is he doing with this? Is he going to 12? No, he's coming down to try and snipe this. The army is getting pretty small for Motive, so if he just picks this off, Motive will be in a completely defensive position for the majority of the rest of this game. He is going to finish off this army for the most part. These Archons, man, have been holding their ground. 20 kills on that one. Will get pushed back. It's time for Motive to switch strategies. It's like not really an option anymore to wipe killer off this map we need to just sit back try to take the best trades possible and let killer it kind of fall out fall off like run out of money run out of gas and eventually lose this game now dropping into here for killer would be amazing if he can come in and drop a big load of army up here hold this position with lurkers on high ground start spamming defiler spells down onto the ground here and just get rid of this base that's one way that you can end up winning this. Another way is to drop into this main, clear out all of that, and then use the momentum uh, with the Protoss player trying to rebuild their gateways and everything down in the bottom right. Use that timing to actually get in and end the game, try to break this position. But right now, it appears that Motive's gonna push into the middle while the big drop is coming here from Killer over in the main base going for some plagues would be amazing right now but he hasn't thrown them down just yet two fresh reavers here pushing through the middle drop into the main base on top of all of these gateways killer is making that move he's chosen the second option here with going for all of the production a lot of this stuff hasn't been unloaded yet it's going to be unloaded here on top of these tech buildings the middle of the map has been cleared Bunch of units being consumed right now before you can throw out some of these all important plagues. A lot of the Reavers have been brought back into the main base to try and help out. And it looks like Motive might get his way here. He might be able to have his cake and eat it too to clear the middle of the map and hold on to his main base. It's He's almost there. He just needs a couple more Reavers to land. And start to kill off some of these Lings and Hydras. If he can kill the Hydras with the Reavers, then the Reavers can kill the Lurkers, no problem. Reaver trying to be dropped just to get a little bit more damage. Looks like he lost one of those Reavers. Or maybe it was just plagued. I'm not sure. This one's very red on the HP. Both of these super red on the HP, so they must have been plagued. Bunch more Templar pop out. We lost the Templar archives. Did he start it over here? He did. Trying to break into the natural now. Killer going for the throat. He's gonna try and break the natural and then take over the main as well. We've got a ton of Templar here, but they don't have a lot of energy for storm just yet. Oh my God, so many storms here. Annihilating this army from Killer. That was an insane number of Hydras. My goodness, how bad of a trade was that, guys? That was about the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And Motive, he should be able to hang on now. 
He should be able to keep himself alive. He is going to clear the main. Keeps most of his gateways online. Archon's here. Plague, not the biggest deal in the world. Lot of overlords getting picked off on their way back home. Seven guardians are being made. Where are they? Here they are. Down at bottom center. Maybe some guardians up here too? No. There's got to be more than this. Four is all I see. Where are the other guardians? Oh, there they are. We've got a whole bunch of guardians here moving towards the center. They can fight Archon very, very well. But with the storms as support, not going to be nearly as effective. Starting to break through into this natural now. Dark Swarm comes down. Plague as well. Plague on these Reavers has already happened. So he picks off the shuttle. That's huge. He got the shuttle. This has nothing in it. Where are those Guardians? They're actually coming in here. Guardians hitting over in this location too. That's a great storm. Gonna get rid of the majority of the Guardians. Down here in the bottom right. Hydra Lurker trying to push through. Into the main base. One more round, I think, of Ling Hydra should break through this. Got one Guardian over here. Guardians making their way forward. At the natural as well. Does need to get in and maybe snipe these Templar rather than just slowly pushing and getting stormed to death. Very hard to use these units officially. He's going to dive on top. Can he get him? He got one. He got two. He got three. Very nicely done here by Killer. Sniping down those all-important Templar. And now the army can break into the main. This is a really important moment here for Killer. As he clears out this final Reaver. And starts to take out the main production facilities of this Protoss player. Guardians are getting picked off as they try to run away from this. More Templar are going to pop out. Storms getting laid down are super annoying right now. This is so many Templar. It's ridiculous how many Templar we've got here. They don't quite have Storm yet, but they're only seconds away from getting that. And the moment they have it, he should be able to throw down... Fantastic storms. He does throw down a couple. That manages to get out with four Templar in this shuttle. Gonna bring them over to the 12 o'clock. Just to reinforce that position. A lot of madness has gone on this game. But let's take a look at where we stand now. With the main base getting taken out. A lot of pylons are gonna have to be re rebuilt. But 5,000 minerals have been accumulated here for Motive. He's gonna be rebuilding all of his tech facilities in the bottom right hand corner. This is the opportunity that Killer is waiting or was waiting for. He's got to re-rally everything down here and start to combine drops with Guardians, with everything all at the same time to try and break through before Motive re-establishes himself down here in the bottom corner with all of his tech buildings, all of his pylons being remade. This is the opportunity that killer needs can he bring everything down here he's got a lot of lurkers over here he's got some lings as well in the top right i don't see many overlords right now to help him get some drops going another couple of guardians go down uh due to that storm there three kills on this templar forcing forcing some of this back but good job having the spore colony and those scourge ready to prevent more templar from getting out there I think that was a four Templar drop. We've got some probes moving through the middle. I don't know if he's actually caught that just yet. If the probes make it down there, that would be painful. I don't think they should be able to, but it looks like they will. Walked right past this big stack of lurkers that were unburrowed. And so he will get, you know, 60 probes down into the bottom right, which means he's going to... Uh, mine this out really fast <gasps> queens yes this is what i'm talking about oh my goodness finally someone's gonna play with queens in late game zvp i love to see it bunch of probes being sent here to the middle they're just gonna be sacrificial we've got so many queens out right now oh my god i love it this is gonna be fantastic guardians getting thrown away right now that's a real shame it's time to go Guardian and Queen. If you guys haven't seen it, I've talked about it a bunch before, but what you can do is you can come in, throw down Broodlings on the Templar, and your opponent's going to be making mostly Archon, Reaver, and Templar in these late game situations because they have so much gas and they have very little minerals. 
They can out trade you with all those splash damage options. But if you snipe the Templar with the Queens, then Reaver Archon is about the worst thing imaginable for fighting Guardians. And you can do so much damage with it. Uh, you cannot Broodling Reavers, by the way. And you can't Broodling Archons either. But you can absolutely put these Parasites on them. It helps you a lot to... Uh, just push them back to make sure that you know exactly where they are. Here comes the Reaver and Shuttle. We've got a bunch of Lurkers here, but they're not really ready. Okay, he's going to run right in and burrow behind this army. Kind of stacked up right now. This is a crazy fight. Look at how many Archons are in this. He's running forward with Hydras, trying to snipe down a Reaver. He gets one of them. But the Storms are pretty good. We haven't seen the Broodling yet. I don't know why... Are, are the queens are ready they're right here just cast the the broodling already and start to kill these high templars stop the storms from dealing massive damage to everything then the the uh hydras can really take the day once the templar are gone and the reavers can be sniped oh my goodness he broke in he actually managed to do it when are we gonna see the broodling there it is finally some broodlings going down really important moment here that we actually have Brutaling now. It's going to be cast on some of these Templar. Getting rid of them means that the Archons are kind of stranded. Hydra will just wreck that. If you've got a whole bunch of Hydras together, they will immediately own these Archons. They have no chance. So he has to run back as the Templar are gone. And the Reavers are low. We've got a bunch of Dark Archons coming up. Now this is the counter to Queen. If you suspect that your opponent is doing this, there it is. Feedback instantly kills those units. And it costs only 50 energy. Two more queens come out. They kill two more Templar. Not quick enough on the reaction. Not enough energy, actually. Okay, he's got enough energy for one more feedback. We should have Guardian. We've got one Guardian coming. That is unfortunate. If he had... Okay, wait a second. Okay, he's got a lot more. There's the Guardians. We've got some Templar coming up. They don't have energy for Storm, though, I think. Yes, they do. They've got one en one Storm apiece. One Storm apiece here. That's enough to kill a lot of these uh, Guardians. He's going to go after the Dark Archons with those Guardians. Pulling back now. Lost one. Comes in again with the Queen's beautiful play here. Uh, excellent excellent move oh god he lost a he lost a big shuttle there i don't know what was in that shuttle really important shuttle pick off there a lot of this army just coming up clearing this out we've got two uh, reavers in the back guardians are going to come from behind though guardians can target down the reavers the reavers are being targeted the hydras are going to kill everything hydras breaking through right now the guardians taking a bunch of storms that's unfortunate but he should have more queens to try and deal with this where are the queens right now? There they are, coming forward once again. Now that the Dark Archons have been cleared, queens are worth so much in this continued matchup. Oh man, is he not gonna cast this? Oh, oh, a lot of these queens end up getting killed basically for free. There we go, he does end up getting those Broodlings off. Clearing out more of these Templar. He's gotta continue to do this. There it is, more clones on those queens. Throwing down three more Broodlings, and now all the Broodlings are gone. How are you going to deal with this army now? You can actually, you can Broodling even the Dragoons. Oh, he's keeping some of his Templar up in the shuttle. So annoying. Very good moves there for a motive, but Killer, I think, is starting to take control in this game. He's killed so many Templar. We really don't have many left over. Okay, four Templar inside this. I think Motive is doing an excellent job displaying how you counter the Queen strategy. Hiding temp hiding Templar in shuttles. Absolutely fantastic. He's gonna come in here, try to kill as many drones as he can. Dealing a lot of damage to these queens as well. A lot of drones just went down. But he just used a ton of energy, a ton of Templar. We're just spent there, and I think Queen ha or Killer has the army to maybe break through here now. We don't have those storms anymore. There are some storms on high ground. If Killer comes in and Broodlings all of these Templar, I think he's going to win this game. Broodling all these Templar. Start to push forward with the Guardians. Get a few more good plagues. I think Killer can break this. 
More guardians are going to be made. More plagues are going to be thrown down. Oh! Oh! Can't quite get that shuttle. Very annoying stuff. Have to bring up a few hydras to deal with this. Um, should be able to kill this no problem. That is a plagued... A plagued reaver. Will go down very quickly. Nice shot though. 25 drones only right now for Killer. Killer making a hatchery in the middle of the map. He's going to try to mine from there. Another couple of parasites getting thrown down on some of these units. Two more reavers in this shuttle. Queen's coming in. Can he get a bunch of kills on... Oh, he needs to go for these Templar, not for the Zealots. Oh, that's really unfortunate right now. Killer just wasted a bunch of these um, broodlings, unfortunately. Good plague there, hitting both of these Reavers. I think this one's already been plagued, but he also gets the shuttle. Just need to target with the Guardians onto the Reaver, okay? Not bad. Starting to poke away at this. Go after the Reaver now. Deal some damage when you can. He's almost managed to pick off those Reavers. Put a few DTs coming out. We're going to make more Dark Archons now. Looking for the counter to all those Queens. Still quite a few Queens are available. A lot of army over here for Killer. He really should bring this to the forefront. So that it's ready to move in. The moment that he senses the weakness, he has to be able to bring all of his army together. And just break this immediately. Otherwise, more Templar will pop out. More Reavers will pop out. And things will get crazy quickly. So he's going to... Move forward with a wide angle of Guardians. Gonna force more Templar to come out here. Nice job picking off one of these Reavers. Gonna force more Templar to come out to just throw down the Storms to get rid of these. And then he has to go for the Broodlings at that moment. We will have Dark Archon with one feedback available. But if you send in like eight Queens... And he can only feed back one. You still lose seven seven uh, storms to broodlings. Seven Templar to broodlings, right? One thing you can do to save the Templar is actually just immediately make them into Archons. So that the uh, broodling can't connect. But it's pretty hard to do sometimes. The Templar are not uh, very... Yeah, they don't really follow direction too well. At certain times like this. Now we're running out of minerals completely. Look at that. Six o'clock is just about out. And the middle of the map is just about out as well. Not a lot of defense down here. Killers moved kind of out of position right now. What the uh, getting a kill there with a uh, sunken colony is pretty good. Losing one of those reavers coming in from multiple angles. Can he actually finish this army? Killers coming in from every which way. He's surrounding this army. He's picking off a lot of this. Guardians coming from behind are going to get Maelstrom, but it doesn't matter. There's no Templar there to help them out. I heard some Broodlings go down earlier as well. Getting rid of a few of those Templar. Really, really big move there from Killer. He's pushing forward, getting rid of this final Archon with 22 kills. Some Zealots here as well. And one more last Maelstrom, last ditch effort here for Motive. As it gets pushed back, he's still got a lot of money to work with. But he's running very low on gas. How many depleted gases is he, has he got? He's got four gases. One of them is not depleted, but it's about to be. So he's really running low on that gas, guys. Uh, on those gases now. Which is not the typical situation for a Protoss player. Usually, they're able to just spam out Templar in the late game. But since he's been forced to make constant Reaver... Templar and Dark Templar. He's really used up most of his gas resources. Now, Killer is in a bad way as well. Oh, God. This Dark Templar in the middle getting five kills. Killing off all the drones there. Pretty annoying stuff. But, you know, Killer is running out of minerals too. He's mining on one more base. Though it's not a, a real base. It's that middle of the map base. And he's going to mine out. But he's just done a great job of being really efficient in this game. With those queens. With a lot of lurkers and guardian play. Has just been fantastic. There's a big storm on big clump of guardians here on the left hand side. But it's not going to be enough to stop this. And I think Killer is just moments away from pushing through to the win. He's done a fantastic job this game. And I think the motive is just about out of this. Eight gas is all he's got so making pure zealot is not going to save you here 
pure zealot is not going to be the ticket that he needs to break out of this he's got two reavers to work with which obviously only require minerals to operate uh, but making any more of those is going to be hard throwing down some more broodlings making great use of queens i'm so proud of killer right now for trying out this strategy for going for this late game queen transition so few players are willing to try this but i think it's so strong i think it's so good and i think it's really played out well here for killer in this game he gets that shuttle and it keeps everything back once again bringing more links forward gonna take this fight with basically the initial protoss army right we we're hardly teched out here we've got one storm mostly zealot and a dragoon is all that's left oh a bunch of the observers went down you certainly can't afford observers right now uh, as the Protoss player. Absolutely not. There's hardly anything you can do at this point in the game aside from just build Dragoons and Zealots because your gas is so low. He's actually getting in and stopping the 6 o'clock though. Wait a minute. Hold up. The Lurkers were not in the right position there. He's, he's even gonna lose one. Oh, long distance mining. Those are gonna get wrecked. All right, all the probes just died. Most of the drones as well. One drone's gonna be transferred here to the middle. As long as he's got a lurker, or as long as he's got an observ observer, he can still push out. If we just snipe this one observer, maybe we can actually win this game. Is he gonna go for it? He doesn't. He goes after a dragoon killer, whom I thought was gonna be winning this game shortly is actually being pushed back towards the middle of the map he's no longer able to mine on the base that should be his at that six o'clock a lot of zealots are getting wrecked here in the middle we've got a bunch of queens coming forward they're gonna kill uh, a bunch of these dragoons for free just utilizing that energy i don't see any templar out here right now long distance mining has begun at six o'clock motive moving to the middle he's gonna kill off the last remaining drones at this point we've only got like 13 drones left one single reaver so important right now to this protoss player more queens casting their spells a lot of these links losing their lives right now as the drones are actually running around as well Maybe trying to fight those probes. The long distance mining is so important at this point in the game. The shuttle, I think this is going to get picked off. That is a huge win. That reaver was incredibly important. We've got 200, 300 gas left. Just pure zealot popping out. We've got one more high Templar reaching the field. A few more lings coming down here. Killer has to stop this mining that's going on as soon as humanly possible here comes one more observer but gg is called the lurkers actually win this game the very end he's able to fight against the mostly zealot army of motive and motive taps out oh my goodness i was not sure who was gonna win that game at the end when i saw killer lose this base and this base i thought that we were gonna see him have to be have to tap out and i think that would have been the case honestly had he not had uh still had queens on the field right he's still got all these queens and they've just been spamming out spells picking off units over and over and over again getting that value we've got three kills on this three here four 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 and four so many kills on these queens he's done a fantastic job with them there's another queen that one hasn't been utilized in a while. What else did we actually have on the map though? Oh my goodness, it was really down to the wire here, guys. This is crazy. There was hardly anything left for both these two guys, but Motive in the end and not able to take this into those really late stages i mean he probably could have stayed let's 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 just zoom back here for a moment to the very end of this game and just take a look at motive's position because you know he probably could have drawn it out to a draw he probably could have made this into a draw if he really wanted to maybe he just didn't want to 
have that type of situation unfold. Maybe he didn't want to uh, force Killer into leaving the game. I know I've seen a lot of games similar to this uh, that I've actually played out where the Protoss player just refuses to leave the game and it has to end like that. Not really the most fun way to end the game if I'm being honest, but it is pretty hard to kill all the cannons when you're at the very last bit of resources on the map. So yeah, I think unironically that Reaver kill was actually the the final straw there, the nail in the coffin for motive because had he won Reaver to fight with this army, place the Reaver here, he has an observer Bring the Observer forward and put some Reaver Scarabs right in the middle of this. He can break this and continue to long distance mine. Then Killer really doesn't have much left. He is at his wits end at the very last of his economy. He's got no money in the bank and six drones to mine from the middle with. If he had just held on, if he had brought this Templar as well, he sent this Templar back home, but if he had brought it with him, and casted the storm right here during this final battle he might have won and guys let's just think about this for a moment how many minerals do we have left okay maybe there's enough for killer to make a few extra guardians and just poke with queens like kill off all of the templar i mean there's only one templar left he kills the last templar and then with the guardians kill every single cannon it would be a long and arduous clean up but eventually i guess that killer would win but this was insanely close guys that one reaver not going down would have made the difference here i think in the final stages of this having that last pair of scourge was insanely good from killer keeping those in the army i mean you're so low on minerals wasting any bit of that resource is so painful but you do have to keep Scourge on the map to snipe things like Observers and, of course, those shuttles. And when a snipe like that happens, it can change the course of the game. And I think it absolutely did here. Killer wins this one by a hair. An incredible performance by both of these two, though. I hope they go and have that dinner later so they can talk about this game and how close it was. Such a good battle between two former teammates guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video